Ladies and gentlemen, I have just seen the 2021 release of Concrete Cowboy. And I can't remember who recommended it, but thank you. This is an excellent film. Before I get into that, let me remind you folks, of course, that for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean, and 4Ocean pulls one pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. So if you could, comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. You'll be helping me make a better world. Now, of course you guys know my beef with Idris Elba. He keeps stealing my world's sexiest man title. But, but I know I'm the world's sexiest man, so I don't let it bother me. In any case, he plays the father of a troubled youth who he is estranged from, who gets dropped off by his mother out in this Philadelphia neighborhood. And the Philadelphia neighborhood has a program led by Elba's character where they, they get troubled youth to ride horses. This is based on a real thing. There is a real riding club that the government is really harassing uh, that you can donate to, and I will try to put a, a link in the description, that through horses and hard work, they try to uh, they try to keep our darker skinned brothers off of drugs. Which, you know, again, I watched this movie and I had flashbacks uh, to some of my more painful moments working in Hollywood, and you know, seeing uh, seeing children, well, I guess young adults calling out to their their parents saying, hey, I need a place to sleep tonight. I don't want to be on the street. And parents saying, you know what? Hey, we're waiting for the drug test. You brought this on yourself. You're going to wait it out. You got to sleep on the street. We don't care. And that's just heartbreaking. But you know, when you're young, you make dumb decisions. And drugs really look good because there's quick money. Not a lot of things a, uh, a person can... I mean, I first looked at this movie and said, how are they affording these horses? And were this not based on a true story, I wouldn't believe it. Because horses are expensive. I used to own one when I was young. And, you know, I used to ride. So this is very close to home to me. And the, the other dichotomy is, you've got this young man, he's got his estranged, hard father guy doesn't really know how to be a dad. He knows how to be a friend, but not a dad. He's taking care of horses as his thing. And he's got this son who is being pulled into the drug world. And, you know, it's like the guy shows up at the home with the drug dealer. The, the dad takes the stuff, throws it out of the street, says, Hey, you want to be a drug dealer? You ain't living with me. You know? Which is some tough love. And it's hard. But, uh, you know, there's not a lot you can do at that point. Because, again, this kid is 15 and he can't, so far as I'm aware, go to a homeless shelter. If, if, you're, if you, you get picked up by the police at that point, you know, uh, they just take you home. And then the dad's going to be like, yeah, hey, he ain't staying here. So, you know, it's a very tough situation, but it's like, look. You know, what do you do? Because you know what happens in the drug trade is bad things. People get hurt. And of course people do in this movie. And there's, there's a lot of evidence of that. So what you have is something of a coming of age story. A man having the experience, young man having the experience of becoming wiser to the world and maturing at the age of 15 as much as one really can and seeing you know both the the profits and dangers of quick money and the coping mechanisms of caring for something other than yourself and I mean look any form of accomplishment that you can see and put your hands on really is beneficial to the mind so yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of these people, I'm not even going to say race because I don't think race is the biggest part of it. I think poverty is the biggest part of this. 
that a lot of people living in a world of poverty, living in a world of pain, living in a world of death and destruction, and I mean, it goes right back to what was said in uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. The guy says, you know, look, we think it's normal for our kids to go to school hungry. We think it's normal for us to take our child to, to the, the hospital and come back with a body bag. This is the reality these people face. This is poverty in America, and it's ugly, and it's horrible. And how do we lead people out of poverty? There aren't a lot of good answers to that. And these people have uh, found that through horsemanship, they can lead their children um, out of poverty by giving them some kind of a compass, some kind of a way. So, yes, this movie, I... I don't really want to give it a must-watch, but I think I should. I think everyone should watch this movie to understand what life is really like in the ghettos in America, in the, the impoverished neighborhoods where people have to make these terrible sacrifices. And I really wish there was more um, mention of the name of the writing club. Again, if, if I don't, check the description for me. Make sure I put the link in there. If I don't put the link in there, remind me so I can put it in there so you guys can donate to this riding club because you know what? Every little bit helps. And they are saving horses and they are saving children. And I love both, uh, regardless of what they look like. So yes, excellent movie. I believe this is a Netflix film. I finagled my way into a friend's house. He streamed it for me and I didn't actually ask the service, but... I do believe it is a Netflix film. So there you have it. Concrete Cowboy. Must watch. Excellent film. And Idris, stop stealing my world's sexiest man. I am the world's sexiest man and you know it. I'm Richard. <laughs> Greetings, Capital East Pigs. I am Great Russian Strongman Stealth Borgov here from Absurd TV to remind you to like and subscribe to this video and leave a comment telling everyone how much you'd like to see more of me which you can find on Absurd TV by Mark Schaefer.